Hey guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and today we're going for a ride in this 1969 El Camino. This one here came back as a believed to be 350 matching number motor. Got power steering, power brakes. Sound like a good exhaust leak over here. Definitely here, and I think it's that donut gasket down there in the back. And what we're going to do is take it down the road, point out any flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. Check out the 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com along with financing and shipping. And of course, every Monday we put out new cars. So there's always something to look at. We get 10 to 15 a week. We only release about 10 on Monday because five of them will sell before I can list them. With that being said, hit subscribe, share, hit like. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. All right, before we take off, a look around the interior, check everything out. This thing's pretty nice in here, really. They got the spare tire behind the seat. I felt like it was a little forward in the front, and that's why. The dash pad. It's in good shape. And place the bets. You think the horn works? We're gonna try it out. This one starts up easy. Show you the mileage. Very well could be, let's say at least 110. Wipers, organ, gas gauge. It's broke, so we're stopping to get some fuel. Radio, little buzz. Blower motor is working, no AC. Sometimes you can give it a second, it'll cut on or adjust some of the speakers left to right but it's not cutting on yet left turn signal is cutting on but not flashing right is flashing and cutting on horn did you place the bets you said it worked you was wrong all right hey you want to go see you pops <laughs> let's take off nice and silky smooth there you can open your vent window if you're getting too hot. It feels like a wool sock in here, doesn't it? There you go. It's nice and smooth. Yeah. I call it pant leg therapy. Because <laughs> in the summer, you're just all sweaty and I just... Pick your pants leg? Yeah, pull my pant leg up. I don't think I work like that. Then it's a good time. <laughs> all right. Anything I see is wrong with this car, I will let you know. I do this with every car on the lot. You can see reverse is working. It's going directly into drive, no issues there. Brakes, they feel pretty good. A little burnout. It's, it's holding, it feels good, it's peppy. Uh, pretty responsive. Let's roll. Good shift. I'm talking nice and straight. Tight steering. Really smooth too. Um, Speedometer, not correct. It, we're doing about 45. We're doing about 45. It says we're going about almost 55. So it's average 10 off on the speedo. Brakes. <laughs> yeah, they're stopping fast. Anyway. <laughs> trying to see if the kick down's hooked up on it. It seems like it is. Yeah, just shift it down. We'll get on over. See if we can beat this guy. Looks like he's not going to go very fast. And then we're going to go to the gas station up here, and I'm going to put twenty dollars worth of premium fuel. Look at that dog. Oh, Both legs out the window. <laughs> I'd be nervous he'd fall out. So we're going to. You know the gas gauge is not working. This thing is like way past what it should be. Yeah, he was sleeping back there. He didn't, he didn't even know it was green. Good call. Good call. So we're gonna get some fuel, just to make sure we don't run out. After this, I'm gonna do some undercarriage shots. Uh, this pretty lady is gonna help me. There he is. Get him! <laughs> She's gonna help me get some cool videos of this ride. And I'll be right back. Like I said, I just don't wanna run out of fuel. He gonna pull up, let's not block him. Go to the side. All right, 
We'll be right back. All right, I got about $20 worth of fuel in this ride here. Put it in on the side. It's got a locking gas cap. Pretty sweet. And yes, I want my receipt, but it never gives me it. They get onto me about that. And they know I'm coming here. Okay. You ready? We know the gauge isn't going to work. See, it's just like pegged all the way over there. This thing starts very well. Just instantly every time. Let's roll out of here. Hey, your door's not shut all the way. It looks like crap. <laughs> but you gotta look at it again now. <laughs> hey, it lines up. Look at that. Thank you. Okay, so far so good. So. I went to digging around and I looked, there's a lot of extra seat belts. Looks like we got a, uh, just, I guess you could fit four people up here in the front from what I'm seeing. There's another one in here too. Wow, why do they have so many of those? I'm very confused on why there's so many of these, but we got plenty of seat belts. I'm here my, picking up my daughter at her school because it was time to pick her up. Me and her went to lunch, did a video. Uh, so she's probably gonna be pretty excited. Oh, okay, well, get in. Come on. <laughs> you gotta have mom help you. All right, come on, Amy. I don't know which one you're getting, but you're getting one of these, all right? Sit on down. Here. We'll buckle her up. Good job. Mom, you buckle up. Everybody's gotta buckle up. Of course. Of course. You always yell at me about that, don't you? All right, heading on back to the lot now. 
<laughs> You're gonna be on YouTube, Amy. Yay. Are you gonna watch it later? Yeah. <laughs> but so far, yeah, good. This car is great. Um, only thing I've noticed is the brake light cut on. And I'm just making sure it's not in that pedal. But I haven't noticed any brake issues whatsoever. And y'all look pretty good. Hitting the brakes, just checking before we roll out. They stop great. Everybody's gonna love this car. Oh yeah, they will. Everybody likes El Caminos. El Caminos? That's what it's called, the road. Good, nice, smooth shift there. We gotta check the brakes. <laughs> Working pretty good. I put a new screw up here, actually. Uh, the screw that was in it, the mirror was just flopping around everywhere. I got the right one. And actually put a bolt on the other side of it too. In case it ever comes loose, you could tighten it up from the outside. If I've noticed that brake light coming on. We may just be a little bit low on the uh, master cylinder there, but it hasn't affected anything with the car braking. The turn signal is slowly blinking there. I'm gonna manually do it. There's nobody behind us though. And we're coming up on the car lot. It's right around the corner. We're gonna be doing picking out the flaws, which I'm gonna be walking around this ride. Looking for chips, scratches, dents, rust, bondo, whatever it is, you'll know about it. Look at the 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com and let's get it. Don't forget to hit subscribe. That helps me out quite a bit. Ain't that right? Yeah. Say so hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> You're cute, Amy. All right, guys. I'll be right back. All right, picking out the flaws, anything I see, I will let you know. Look at the detailed photos at maplemotors.com. That way you can see all through another perspective. My uncle does the photos, I do the videos. We are all family here. You can also see a little bio about us. Almost 40 years in business. All right, anything I see, I will let you know. Let's get started. Coming around the front end. So on this one, you do got some light pitting on the front bumper. see some of the shadowing going on there the grill on this one you got some minor imperfections mark there in the front chip there also a chip there you got a chip here and here little blemishes here on the side you got a ding dent scratch chip and all right here tires look decent coming up and over little scuff mark there got some rust right here in the front by the driver's side door light scratch there 
chips down here at the bottom. Hey, Junior! Down here as well. Scratch right here in the middle of the door. Chip down here as well. Little scuff. Scuff here. down this lower portion oh you can tell they got gas on it the gas is eating at the paint there if you spill gas on your paint job this is what will happen I've seen it too many times little spot here rust popping up at the bottom scratch up there on top chips all down the stripes here, a lot of chips and scratches. Little chip there. Chips on the edge of the door. Top of that door handle, some scuffs. Scratch here, the top two. Middle of the door, light scratches and scuffs. See them as we run on here. Chip there. More stripe imperfections. Chip up here on top. Something just came in with a squeaky belt, didn't it? Chip there. We'll bubble on top of the fender. Got some more imperfections here. And on top of that fender. A lot of chips on this car. A little hazy up here too. Up and over your pillar. I like looking at the vinyl roofs to see if I can see any kind of bubbles or bumps. Show any kind of rust. This one so far is looking pretty good. Even the trim around the back window and the window itself is nice and clean. Front window looks good, trim looks good. Trim around the driver's window's in good shape. Seal looks good around that vent window. Indention there, chip up top here. Chrome looks good. chips spot in the back here coming around the back bumper it's in good shape let's have some marks back here got some rust popping up there on the chrome dual exhaust out the back a little rust in the corner here A bit of pitting there on your chrome ding here little spot also there let's see I haven't opened this tailgate yet make sure the straps are connected and they are solid looks good a few dings it's not perfect I see some up here too just spread out there. The bed is in good shape. It's a heavy mat. Up in the front here. Yeah, the bed's in good shape. It looks good. Heavy tailgate, shuts well. Little scuffs there. Chips here, spot in the tail light. Oh, no, nope. it got me, it was a spider web. <laughs> Looked like actual spider web on the plastic, but it wasn't. Scratches, 
rust back here in the corner where the water gets settled and doesn't get out just eats away trying to get out big old chunk of paint missing there lower portion of this side's looking great so far there's a chip here now Oh, a little rust up here in the front. Coming up. Chip here. Little chips there. Scuff in the front. Also here. Speaking of spider webs, I got them all over me for some reason. Floating through the air around here. Same with all that pollen. It's getting me. Making me want to sneeze. Scratch there on top. Ding right here. A little scuff. Really small. Messed up stripe. More imperfections there chrome door handles not bad more imperfections on the stripes you got a dent back here right below that over this top portion Back window looks good, chrome looks good. Top's not too bad. Front windshield's nice. You got some little cracks here on the edge. Up in your jam here, solid. All right, we made it around this ride. Let's go ahead and jump on the inside here, look around it, get it started up. Listen to that motor again. It should be good. Like I said, this thing's got a lot of seat belts. I know my daughter, she loves going on rides in these cars. It's like her favorite thing if I'm taking her to school. Let's go in the car, let's go in the car. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Weather strip in here, brittle. Looking down the bottom portion of the door. A little imperfection here. The carpet is older, but it looks all right. It's got a few spots that are kind of weak. See how it's kind of faded in certain there, certain areas here. Let's open this up. It's tire over there. The seat on this one is in great shape. You see, it looks pretty good. Got a spot right here on the door panel. Seat over here is in good shape. Around your back window, it's nice. Headliner, you got a rip on that other side. Right here. Took a second to start. Let's give her some gas. There we go. Man, that one's stiff. Got some paperwork in there. That's always good. A few receipts.
that one's going out. Still got that exhaust leak. It really sounds like it's coming from down here. See that gasket down at the bottom here? Pretty quiet up here in the front. They got the plug wires all out of the way. Got a fan shroud. Pretty basic setup. I see a little bit of fluid leaking. That's probably why that brake light was on. I guarantee that this is gonna need a little bit. See it's kind of leaking there. See it on the frame too. That's why the brake light cut on. Starting to get low on us. Edges of the hood, good shape. But it's still got insulation under there. Coming down with it, look how easy that is. It's already locked. dings on the hood hard to see really small I mean you might be able to pick it out but right there it's really small I just like to point it all out even if you can't see it chips on the edge scratch in the middle of the hood and a little bit of pitting up here on your chrome that's on both sides Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share, hit like. I do make these videos for a living, so that helps me out. You can also go to maplemotors.com for financing, shipping, detail, pictures. And of course, all of our inventory is updated every Monday. But definitely check maplemotors.com. That's where it's gonna show you what we have left, what is currently available. Don't be looking in the background of these videos because that's not always the truth. A lot of these cars sell fast. I post 10 every Monday. By Wednesday, almost everything is gone. And that is the case, especially the last three months. We've been trying to catch up. The more cars we buy, the more we sell. So we just limit ourselves. We get about 15 cars ready every week and we only list 10 on Monday. That just shows you what's going on up here. But guys, I do appreciate it. Definitely give us a call if you're interested in this ride or any rides in the future. And I hope you have a good one. I'll see you later. Have a good one.